It's here on the corner of North Broad and Vine in this historic gym. One of the nation's most talented high school teams refines their skills. Descend a few floors down and you can't help but notice a wall covered with over a hundred years of Roman Catholic's most historic achievements. It's this black and white photograph that's arguably its most defining moment. It is a photograph, an early photograph, of a 1902-1903 basketball team. The picture was on the wall and we never really knew what the story was behind the picture. But the interesting thing to us was, uh, if you notice it's obvious there is one African American among a team of, uh, of white guys. Um, but we never thought that that was unusual or different. So it never prompted any of us to go, you know, research this story. John Corkery was very good. But it wasn't until the late 1990s, in a letter from the niece of Captain really John Corkery, did the school realize the photo's historic significance. Uh, we started to look into the history of the story. Nearly 50 years before the NBA's color barrier was broken, this team of teenagers, at that time, decided to do the unthinkable and boldly stand up for what was right. It was the story that her uncles, who were on the 1902 basketball team, uh, John Corkery and Maurice Corkery, took a stand when the league had threatened to ban one of Roman's players, John Lee, because he was an African American. It really was eye-opening. Um, but the majority of these kids were poor Irish Catholics and they were the sons of immigrants or, or the grandsons of immigrants themselves. And they knew the, uh, uh, the sting of discrimination. So I think that they empathized with John Lee as a result of that. Johnny Lee was the son of a former slave. And during this time of suppression in the new century, Roman Catholic informed the Interscholastic League that if Johnny couldn't play, the school would forfeit their season. This moment has to rank right up there as one of the proudest moments for the school. It is the only archdiocesan high school um, in which its alumni have fought in the Spanish-American War, World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and the recent uh, Persian Gulf Wars. Uh, we're very proud of that as well. But this particular stand that the team took on behalf of their teammate, John Lee, ranks right up there as one of the proudest things that we always point to when we talk about Roman. If Johnny Lee doesn't play, I don't play. The league backed down, and Roman Catholic won the first of a remarkable 20 championships under coach Billy Marquardt. The spirit of that 1902 team has been passed down from one generation to the next. Now, Johnny Lee was the son of a slave. That's how far back we're talking about. So he was the first generation to be a free African-American. And for the stand that his team took, the courageous stand that they took, uh, Johnny Lee never forgot. Roman's motto is Brothers for Life. We all live that as alumni. The reason why it's Brothers for Life is because of men like John Corkery and John Lee, because they sort of showed us how, despite the fact that we may have differences, we may have cultural differences, we may come from different neighborhoods, we're all brothers in the end. Roman, family. Good luck, guys. Yeah.